Whatever God has given you, just take our time. What has God given you? What talent? What gifts has God given you? Are you using it? The Lord told you to start a business. Have you started? The Lord told you to write a book. Have you written it? The Lord told you to do this. Have you, do have you done it? What you waiting on? You only have a certain amount of time to do it. You only have the graveyard, y'all, is a treasure chest. Buried treasure that can never be done. Why? Because they took all that talent, all that knowledge to the grave. God gave them songs, but they never wrote the songs. They never had a problem. God gave them books, but they never wrote the books, never had a problem. And they took all that knowledge with them to the grave. God gave them a building to build it to start business and build them a new. They never done it because they never maximized their time. They was content to work with somebody else. They were content to make minimum wage instead of going out there and starting their own business. They were content. There's no work in the grave. Where you going? See, that's what you understand. There ain't no room for backsliding, baby. I ain't got time. Don't have time to backslide. I ain't studying you, devil. I ain't got time for you. Somebody need to get a mindset. I ain't got time to, I ain't got time to play with the devil. I need to get saved. I need to get filled with the Holy Ghost. I need to get baptized in Jesus' name right now. I need to live right. The Lord is calling me to preach. I need to be preaching. I need to be on my post. I need to be doing it right now. Right now. Right now. Trying to figure it out. Pastor, I'm running. Well, baby, you go and run. I'm going to find somebody else. Because I ain't got time for nobody running on the problem of God. I ain't got time for nobody running on the will of God, the plan of God. Amen. I'm telling y'all the truth. Time is precious. Oh, folks, you say it like this. We only pass this way once. And when I'm talking to people and women too, they say, come back to my baby. I will never claim I will come back and visit you tomorrow. The Lord is calling you right now. Well, I'm on my way to work. The Lord is calling you right now. Can you take five minutes to hear what I got to say? You got to make it to work. Praise God. You got to go to the barber shop. You got to go to the beauty shop. You ain't got five minutes to listen while they tell you about Jesus. And then they tell me, come back. Can you come back? No, baby. I can't. I, 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 I. Somebody said, Pam, I, I can't promise. The Lord sent me by the day. The Lord may send me some out play tomorrow. I'm not coming back down this street tomorrow. I'm not knocking on them door tomorrow. I ain't making time for you tomorrow. Right now, the Lord is calling you. Maximize your time. Well, Pastor, I've been praying for one day. Find somebody else that want to I'm believing God that God's going to save my husband. Why are you believing God for him to save your husband? You're going to witness to somebody else. Why are you waiting on God to save your wife? You're going to witness to somebody else. Why are you waiting on God to save your children? You're going to witness to somebody else's child that wants to be saved. Why are you waiting on everything to allow them to appeal by God business doing what God told you to do? While you have time. Somebody worried about when the earth's gonna I ain't stuck when the earth gonna end, baby. Let me tell you why. Because when I die, the earth has just ended for me. The world has just ended. I ain't, I ain't got time to try to figure that out. And when I see people on the, on YouTube talking about the Lord, the earth gonna end in, in June, uh, and they said December or something land. I'm laughing at that like, oh y'all great. Don't you read your Bible? Don't you know that no man know the day nor the hour? When we say peace and safety. Then the world is going to end. When we say peace, say everything going good, the economy going good, all the world the economy going good, then the world will end when God says so. I know they'll fall apart when they put dates on it. The world going to end because of my calculation. Your calculation is wrong. They is wrong. And you're a false prophet. Right. <laughs> so we got to maximize our time. Amen. That's what the word of God said. Let's do even verse number nine. Live carefully with the wife that thou lovest all the days of thy life of thy vanity which he has given thee under the sun. All the days of thy vanity, for that is the portion, for that is thy portion in life. And in thy labor which thou taken under the sun. And whatsoever thy hand found to do, do it unto do it with thy might. But there is no work, no device, no knowledge, no wisdom, no wisdom in the grave, whether thou do. 
Somebody supposed to be in this college, but they don't want to, they don't want to go to college. Somebody got, but see, God placed that in your heart. Go and get an advanced degree. Go do it then. Go do what you waiting on. Do it. That's all right. Luke chapter 19, verse 13. I remember a, a particular patient of mine was 100 years old. And the Holy Ghost said to me, through word of wisdom and discernment, there was a word of knowledge, word of what not. The Lord said, the Holy Ghost said to me, the word of knowledge, she ain't never been married, she ain't never had no children. 100 years old, and I'm not down nobody. If you didn't have no children, at least you could have gotten married. Beautiful. You cannot be a beautiful woman. A beautiful, could have easily got any man. You can look at that 100 years old, she was a beautiful woman, she was old. Why did she never got married? Never had no children. Never went to college. Never got a degree. Wasted a hundred years to punish her. I don't even know if she ever got saved. Ever got filled with the Holy Ghost. Just wasted time. Luke chapter 19 verse 13. I believe that's one of the biggest crimes of man. Is wasting time. Just wasting time. Y'all remember I preached a message on the prodigal son? And the message wasn't about backslide because most people preach about back. God gave me revelation that the biggest sin that the prodigal son had was wasting time. Prodigal means addicted to wastefulness. Amen? Wasting time. Baby, you don't have time to keep doing do-overs and come back in the church. And after you get in the church, sit down somewhere and stay still and say, I'm going to stay saved. No matter whether or not I get a husband, I'm going to stay safe. Whether or not I ever get a wife, I'm going to stay safe. Whether or not I get a million dollars, I'm going to stay safe. Whether or not I ever get a house or, or this or that, I'm going to stay safe. I ain't worried about that, I'm just going to stay safe. Yeah. Yeah. People prophesy to me, baby, that don't matter if you don't ever get the Holy Ghost. Jesus. It don't matter how much money God gives you, you never get the Holy Ghost. Nice. You never get saved. Luke chapter 19, verse 13. Amen? Oh, 9, 19, verse somebody. If you get it for me, go ahead and read it. He called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said, I'll tell you, I'll tell you, I'll tell you. Amen. Amen. Just read verse 12 from me. He said, therefore, a certain old man went into a far country to receive for himself a king and to return. He read it. And he called his ten servants and delivered them ten pounds and said unto them, I will not till I come. But his citizens hated him and sent a message after him, saying, We would not have this man to reign over us. But he said, Occupy until I come. Some of your Bible say, in the letter say, Do business. Do business. Somebody that's saying, they sit down. They say they are saying and they're sitting down on the Lord. They're saved and they're satisfied being saved. Satisfied with Jesus. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But you need to work. You need to occupy to God come back. You need to tell somebody about Jesus. You need to do something productive. Yeah. Are you pie? And you are Amen. Occupy. Verse number 15, and it came to pass that when he was returned, having, re having received the kingdom, then he commanded these servants to, to be called them to whom he had given the money, that he might but know how much every man had gained by trading. I'm telling you, the Lord want matter to be productive. I appreciate the people that is here today. I believe God going to build a church up. I believe God going to fill it up. And God going to use you to fill it up. God's going to use your mouth to go out there and tell somebody about you and they're going to come in this place to get saved. Occupy. But we get so fixated on our own problem. Oh, my problem, my problem. Stop thinking about your problem. See, God can do something for us if we get our mind off our own problem. God, see, the reason why God ain't working out our problem is because we're so fixated on our own problem. You forget about your problem. Start thinking about somebody else. Got me. That need to be saved. Then God can do something by you, by your problem. And it came to pass. Then came the first saying, Lord, 